What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a long layered haircut, which I know you guys are gonna love. Plus, it's on a live model, which you guys always enjoy. So what's one of the biggest challenges for your guests to have longer hair? Think about if their hair is down to here, that hair has been on their head for five to six years. So it's our job as professionals to talk to our longer hair guests about how they can keep their hair healthy. Giving your guests recommendations has never been easier than it is right now. This device right here is called Hair AI. It's a brand new technology from Paul Mitchell. You hook this little device to your phone and you can scan your guest's hair and it'll tell you exactly what they need to keep their hair healthy, strong, shiny, and it'll help you understand better exactly what's going on with their hair and scalp. And also I partnered with John Paul Mitchell Systems to give away three of these hair AI devices to three of you lucky subscribers. So I'm looking forward to walking you guys through this step-by-step -step haircut and also showing you how Hair AI can work. So there's only two things you have to do to win this device. All you have to do is go to Instagram and follow Paul Mitchell Pro. That's Paul Mitchell Pro. I'll link it in the comments below. Then once you're done with that, all you gotta do is post in the comments, just write follow. That way I can check and make sure you actually did follow Paul Mitchell Pro and that will get you signed up to win this device. So good luck to all of you guys. I wish I could give every single one of you one of these. Hopefully one of these days you will have one, but three lucky people are going to get it. Let's get started with the video. Here we go. All right, guys, so on any haircut that I do, I like to start with a base product. My base product choice today is Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift. I'm choosing this because my model has longer hair, and I want to make sure I keep her hair nice and healthy when I start using heat tools like a blow dryer or an iron. Uh, it's going to help protect from that and also give me a nice medium light hold uh, to the hair as well. Uh, I put that base product in. I start combing through the hair. It's going to help evenly saturate it. I cut a nice blunt line at the bottom, getting her hair to that healthy point, and then I'm going to start with my elevation. Now look how I lift that up. It's not 90 degrees. It's more up uh, to help collapse those layers in a little bit. Uh, you can see in the head sheet to the side, kind of that angle that I'm taking. And I just work my way through. Now this is a traveling guide all the way across the back. So I'm cutting almost like a square back on the bottom. And then we're going to work our way into the top. So just staying consistent with that. Also notice that I'm pushing the hair away from me on the right hand side. I was pulling the hair towards me on the left hand side that's just to stay consistent with my combing all the way through now i'm going to go on a pivoted uh guideline and we're going to travel around the head but i'm going to cut round layers to sit on that top crown area So I'm making the choice to do more point cutting throughout the top. What that's gonna do is give me a softer line within my haircut. So you could cut a blunt line if you want to. Uh, it might have a little bit more of a clean look. For me, I like to have that little bit more texture into it. It's not gonna show too much of a difference, but I just like a little bit more movement uh, within my line and shape. So notice how I'm pivoting around the head. I'm also coming straight out from where that hair lives. So as I travel around, that new section that I'm pulling, it's coming straight out. All right, so now we're gonna move to the right-hand side. I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing. The biggest difference here, guys, is that I'm combing the hair differently. I'm pushing it away from my body on the right-hand side. I was pulling it towards my body on the left-hand side. I already talked about this. Let's break it down a little bit more. So what I wanna do is I wanna take that guideline and I wanna pull it halfway to that new section. When I pull it halfway to the new section, I bring the new section to the guide and then that allows me to start traveling across the head shape, not bringing any length with me because because I don't want to build too much length as I travel. So that's basically the deal. So I just keep bringing everything, meeting in the middle, traveling around the head and working that pivoted point. So now we move into the front. You can see the angle that I'm creating. Basically mimic your finger angle with the forehead. What that's gonna do is explode a ton of layers in the front. You're gonna cut quite a bit of hair off the very front section. Uh, still leaving long layers in the haircut, but you're uh, building length towards the back. So the back will have the longest portion of this. So shortest point in the front, longest point in the back. Everything's coming straight up, straight to the middle to cut it there. And then you'll, you'll be able to see this end result. It's beautiful, uh, tons of layers, nice healthy hair because we cut a good amount off, but her hair still looks super long. Uh, this is a great technique for those long hair guests. 
All right, so you guys can see the perimeter line, how it goes short to long, the beautiful face framing layers. And now my friend, international platform artist for John Paul Mitchell Systems, Ryan Belmonte is gonna go in, blow it dry, make it look beautiful using Paul Mitchell Pro Tools, and then you guys will see that end result. All right, guys, and here is our end result using Hair AI to get to that perfect length to get nice, shiny, healthy, beautiful hair. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.